Hello, uh, it's Jude. I'm doing a picture. I'm doing a picture. Uh, I was watching Crispy. He did a charity stream, which is rather lovely of him. And uh, he's a Twitch stream I enjoy. He's, he's, he's carbohydrate based. Anyway, so I was watching it and he did this stream. Uh, I said, well, I'll, I'll do a picture for someone. Uh, that seems like a nice thing to do. So, so I did. The person that won it sent me this picture to draw and this picture is a an activated guardian beacon and i love an activated guardian bee i love doing it i love watching them they're just it's just the sound the way that the the light refracts around it doesn't refract i'm just talking rubbish but it, it, it the light shines out from various parts of the beacon and and it changes the colors in the skies around and the ones i've been to have been in pretty places anyway like like at nebulas and whatnot. I, the, there's one in the uh, Spirograph Nebula I've been to that's particularly good. As I was doing it, I was just aware that um, what I was drawing was a big machine banging awake and they make this clang noise, this bang clang noise. It's like this ancient machinery booted up and um, I, uh, it just makes me think of a Nevinson painting. Uh, Nevinson was a war artist. It's the start of the 20th century so he's like first world war you know the grim ones and he he, he did they, they were like they were really good he was a, an ambulance driver he had rheumatism so he, he didn't he didn't have to go and have his head blown off although potentially he probably could have done very easily driving an ambulance to and from the the the, the front to uh the trenches where he was i imagine living and it was it was it was uh, probably pretty soul destroying <laughs> A lot of the war artists around that time, their work, I think probably abstraction was popular anyway, but they also seem to have done quite fractured looking artwork. So his work, there's quite a lot of stuff that's all quite geometric and bangy cubey squares and sharp pointy bits. You know, I'm fond of Franz Marc and he did that as well. And he went a bit nuts and then he got killed. Lovely Nevinson. And these colours specifically, the, the the muted greens and greys and blacks, made me think of that, and uh, I I, th I thought it was it was it was particularly striking the the resemblance this screenshot had. I wouldn't say necessarily my picture successfully captured that, but certainly the the screenshot had a quality to it of First World War art. <laughs> It might be a little bit pompous, really. I don't know. I like it. I like it because it makes me think of that. It looks like that explosion, that 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 shell blast look that he 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 drew, uh, and the machine imagery that he he produced. Uh, rows of people marching, so they just looked like hedges with spikes because the spikes were the bayonets, and they all coming at you like a brambled hedge. And and, and the grey that you, you suggest that perhaps this might have once been a field with green in it, but that sort of like that disturbed ground turns everything into a, a homogenous kind of colour. Anyway, so yeah, no, I I love a bit of that with the um the the the, the vorticism and the futurism and whatnot. I'm um <laughs> doing this with the sound of fireworks outside and and my little doggy's going nuts. So it's a bit like uh, the bang of the uh, the activation of the guardian beacons is is quite appropriate really. Um, I like the cobalt blues and and the greens in there. They were really good to try and get. I'm banging a bit of paint on here and there to try and make it brighter and lighter. I'm trying to show the uh, the actual reactive lightning shots in the Guardian Beacon requires paint, to be honest. I had to do it with paint because it didn't look right. And so I was slapping a bit of paint on uh, to try and show the, the real the real brightness you can't seem to get it i mean i've got chalks and there's got some lovely chalks but i just want that sharp vibrant contrast that you get with a, a very fine pointed paintbrush and a bit of and a bit of white paint even if i'm trying to do the the explodey bit with the dots it still helps to have a paintbrush it, it's an enormously high quality screenshot which i failed to replicate accurately but i I really love the fact that I could zoom in and see everything I needed to know, <laughs> even if I did not show it you. Never mind. All right. Thank you for watching. You are, well, as always, uh, very patient and uh, happy new year if it has happened to you.